want to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it, and this has been like a therapy session. This is Colin McGuigan for AFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined by the victorious Kurt Walker, 5-0. and Talk to me about that performance tonight. Good step up for me. Uh, perfect match, making the, match, making the game from Jamie. Tough, toughest boy I've fought, hard as head. Long arms, small body, tough, tight guard, so he was tough. Had to use my feints and work him out, but I uh, enjoyed it. Going into a fight like that, whenever he's fought your manager, does Jamie tell you much about an opponent like that? Just that he heavy-handed every punch, so he could feel it, so... I think he done that on purpose to keep me switched on because that can be a downfall for me at times. And the more switched I am on, the, the better I am. Is that why we've seen kind of Kurt Walker fast track as a pro? Because we, we look at other people coming through a system and a lot of these guys, you know, have journeymen with, with a lot of losses. You seem to be fighting people with, with decent pedigrees, decent records. Is that why? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's because the level was boxing on for so long. Just to come into the pros and fight journeymen, it dropped down. It's hard, it's tough. Because you're fighting at the highest level for so long, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be the way forward as, again as usual. Um, up the eight rounds next year, I'm enjoying it at the moment, but I'll be looking to push on, you know, and fight, fight people who have something to lose, like myself. So it's going to be interesting. Five and zero oh as a pro now. Your first year as a pro. How do you think that's went? Couldn't really go much better. Obviously, it should have been six only for the cut, but things happen for a reason, and I'm glad they've happened the way they have. Two fights in Belfast, one fight in Wembley, one fight in, in Glasgow, and one in Germany. So. I've experienced every every aspect of, of professional boxing. For you, not having who's a fake ball in your corner tonight, does anything change there, or is it just business as usual with Charlie Beat there? Nah, obviously it's, it's hard because he wasn't there, but we've been working on the stuff in the gym. He keeping in touch with me, telling me what to do. I think I did most of them. What he was asking me to do, maybe some things I'd done a bit stupid, but you know what we were practicing on, I tried my best to show it in there, and he had to go and get the job done with Shannon. You know, he has he has more than one fighter, which I understand. And he listen, then uh, we'll get the next one. 2023 for Kurt Walker. Talk to me about what you want. Are you going to be as active as this year? Yeah, at least another five next year. Well, four to six, I'd say. So I'd be happy if I got another five and maybe the title in there. I don't care, mate, whatever comes. And as Jamie spoke about when you'll be first out next year, could we see it maybe January? Will you be able to enjoy Christmas? Nah, I'm taking Christmas, mate. I have a family, so I want to enjoy it. Uh, February, maybe, and then out in March. If not, then just March, and then we'll work from there. But yeah, straight up date round. He's excited. He's excited about pushing me up and bigger tests, and I'm excited too. Kurt, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. We'll do this again very soon. No problem, mate. Thanks. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it, and this has been like a therapy session.